What is up guys, in this video we'll be looking at what AI has predicted for 2023-2024 Premier League standings. Let's get right into it. At number 20, the AI has predicted Luton Town to go down. Just coming after their magical season and maybe it's because of their stadium that AI thinks man, they don't got the money for this. Moving on. At number 19, then AI thinks that Sheffield United will got go down. Um, Sheffield United are the oldest club to play football. Um, going all the way back from 1878. I mean, I think that Sheffield United will have a good season, but AI doesn't think so. Moving on. At 17th, then last season's newly promoted Bournemouth are predicted to go down. Many people didn't believe in them less last season, but they showed around. But maybe this season it's not their time, and maybe they'll go down. At number 17th, the team to just stay up is going to be Burnley. The team that the manager is Vincent Company, the man who played for Manchester City. They're predicted to stay up, says the AI, but only by fine margins. Moving steady and slowly, number 16 is Nottingham Forest, the team that also many people thought would go down, but stayed up. And this time AI thinks that they'll stay at 16th place and stay up from the relegation and just stay in the Premier League, but at low. At number 15, the, the AI supercomputer thinks that Everton will stay up at 15th place. So which is quite better than the last two seasons where they've just stayed up by fine margins. Maybe this will be a turning season for Everton. Let's see. At 14, we have the team Fulham, striker Mitrovic, and a very beautiful team. I feel like they're very underrated. Because last season, coming into the season, I think they're rock bottom every group thinking. But then Mitrovic and all the other players at Fulham just thought, no, we're not going down this time. We're staying up. So yeah, I'm happy for Fulham. And Supercomputer thinks they'll stay 14th. At number 13, we have Wolves. Wolves don't score a lot of goals. They don't win a lot of games, but AI computer thinks they'll stay up. Even after they might sell Ruben Neves to Saudi, their main player, I think. But AI super computer thinks that maybe they'll do some good business and by the end of the summer transfer market, they'll stay up for the next season. They'll have right enough. This is the strongest prediction by the AI supercomputer. This is what it's most sure about. It says that Crystal Palace would get a 12th place. So Crystal Palace, I think, are the team that's been known for 13th, 12th, or 14th. They always just stay like this. Also, for the team that has scored most goals in the Premier League, they're also 12th, 13th, and 14th. So they just stay up. They don't go good. They don't go bad. They just stay there. But maybe after Eze and all of them have had a good season, next season they might turn up. The next team kind of surprised me a bit. It's number 11. It's Brentford. So Brentford might... Maybe it's 11 and not higher because they have lost their main striker, Ivan Sony, because of the things that has gone against him. But I think that Thomas Frank and his team are a good purpose of showing that you could do anything. Now we're at number 10. At number 10, the AI supercomputer thinks that West Ham will finish there. Maybe because they'll also be the European League and the Premier League, so their players will be qu quite tired, but they'll still finish a good 10 spot. And I would like to say congratulations to West Ham. At number nine, we have the team of Unai Emery, Aston Villa. He has been had a, such a remarkable season, I feel. After Steven Gerrard getting sacked, he's turned their season around, and what an underdog story. The key strikers, Watkins, he might leave to United or some big club, but I wish them all the best. And AI Supercomputer thinks that 9th place is a good spot for them. Coming in at number 8, this is a, so this AI Supercomputer has 3 teams it's the most sure about. So first one was Crystal Palace, now it's Brighton. They think Brighton will come 8th place. Because now Brighton also have the European football and Premier League. They have sold Alexis McAllister and I think Isaida will also go. So they'll have to buy some players. So they'll have a good season. They might not get European football next season, but they'll have a good season. At number 7, getting into the good stuff, we have Tottenham Hotspur. So Tottenham Hotspur have had like a drastically bad season. After Conte leaving, it's gone so bad that they gave 8th place this season. Number 6, we have Chelsea. Chelsea? Had a very, very bad season last season. But this season, yeah, I think that after buying so many players, spending so much money, they might get to European football. So I think that's a good decision by the AI. Yeah, I think I would also go somewhere around that for sixth place. Now coming into number five. So number five is actually Newcastle. Even though they got top four, AI Supercomputer does not think they have the power enough to go into the Premier League's top four next season. And the reason for that is because they'll be in Champions League. And it's been quite some years. I think it's over 50 years 
um, the last time Newcastle went in the Champions League. Comes into the top four. So at number four, it says Manchester United. So, I mean, I think it's because of the Qatar. If Qatar buys Manchester United, then Manchester United might finish higher. But right now, Qatar thinks that Manchester United will finish one lower place than last season because the competitive of top four has become so much. The top three. At number three, we have Arsenal. The team that came second place last season who bottled the season. AI yeah, thinks that they'll come on a third place after having such a remarkable season. But I might have some doubts in that since they've sold their key players, Granit Xhaka and Partey are looking to leave, but they might sign Declan Rice. So the second team is actually Liverpool, the team that used to be chasing Manchester City for quite some years but had a drop-off season. Somehow AI thinks that they'll get him second place. I don't really understand that because they've not made any good signings apart from McAllister, but AI thinks that Liverpool will just come back into their genuine good form and get a remarkable second place. The first place. The first place that AI think is of course going to be City. The AI thinks that City will take it four years in a row. I don't know what's happening to Premier League. Is it becoming a Farmers League or what? But Manchester City, after season and season and season, they keep on winning. Now Manchester City has sold their Ilkay Gundu one. Kyle Walker is also looking to leave. But AI doesn't think that's any problem. It just still thinks that Manchester City will start day one and just win, 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 win. win. And they've got the title. I mean, what can you say? Amazing. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, it's my first long video, um, then subscribe for a Ballon d'Or for your favorite player. Bye.